fragmented into a large number of separate and conflicting compartments according to his different desires, aims, ambitions, loyalties, or psychological characteristics. The notion that all these fragments are separately existent is evidently an illusion, and this illusion cannot do other than lead to endless conflict and confusion. Indeed, the attempt to live according to the notion that the fragments are really separate, is, in essence, what has led to the growing series of extremely urgent crises that is confronting us today. This way of life has brought about destruction of the balance of nature, worldwide economic and political disorder, and the creation of an overall environment that is neither physically nor mentally healthy for most of the people who have to live in it. Individually there has developed a widespread feeling of helplessness and despair in the face of what seems to be an overwhelming mass of disparate social forces going beyond the control and even the comprehension of the human beings who are caught up in it. Indeed, to some extent, it has always been both necessary and proper for man to divide things up and to separate them so as to reduce his problems to manageable proportions. Man's first realization that he was not identical with nature was also a crucial step because it allowed him to go beyond the immediately given limits of nature. Nevertheless, this sort of ability of man to separate himself from his environment ultimately led to a wide range of destructive results. Because man lost awareness of what he was doing, and thus extended the process of division beyond the limits within which it works properly.
Yeah, no more, not because of the way I 